Hello, y'all. This is a part of the Warband Lore and History series covering the Kingdoms of Caradia. The subject of this video is the Kingdom of Vagars. A disclaimer, I do not have Banner Lord at the time of recording, and so this video solely relies on information taken from Warband. The Kingdom of the Vagars is found on the tundra of the northeast, with some settlements flying aside in more temperate or mountainous terrain. The capital is the city of Ravadan, and the three other notable settlements are Karal, Kudan, and Ribicheg, sometimes referred to as the Rock of Ribicheg and the strongest fortress in Caradia. Their local variety of terror is the Taiga Bandits, ranged weapon scoundrels who prey on anyone they find weak enough. The most well-known outlaw is Athrid, who is blamed for most crimes in Vagar territory. The Vagars are bordered by the Nords, Swadians, and Kyrgyz. Soldiers from the Kingdom of the Vagars are renowned bowmen and known to be the most elite archers in this part of Caradia. This does not stop them from being pushovers in close combat, though. A charge from their knights or a swing from a burdage will tell you otherwise. Due to their armament, they are both very effective at attacking and defending in a siege. In the open field, they provide a worthy challenge, with their military providing a good counter to the horse-focused Kyrgyz and the infantry extraordinaire Nords. Their leaders in the field are known as boyars, and whom fight with their soldiers in battle. It is not known if they are native to the region entirely, having related kinfolk over the cold mountains. The Vagars are first mentioned properly as being paid by the Karadic Emperor to defend the Empire from attacking tribes. They are the previous owners of the lands of what is now the Kyrgyz Khanate. They would lose their castles and be driven back with the arrival of the Kyrgyz migration from their homeland. Vagar territory, specifically Ribercheg, was the first target for Nord expansion from the coast. Nord longships would ravage the inland rivers and try to force the Vagar king to pay them to go away, but he declined, instead summoning his kinsmen from over the mountains to war. The Nords did the same with their relatives across the sea, but peace was eventually reached between the two nations. The current ruler is King Yarglik, whom is opposed by claimant and cousin Prince Voldheim the Bastard. Voldheim was born to the past king who died while he was young. His regent and uncle Björlik took the chance to usurp power from the young ruler. Voldheim's murder was accused of adultery, and Björlik claimed Voldheim was not his father's son. Voldheim's mother was executed for treason, and himself miraculously smuggled away by a servant. Björlek later died, having his successor and son, Yaroglek, take power. Voldheim views his claim just as tainted as his uncle, and thus should be overthrown. Yaroglek's perspective is that if Voldheim came in peace, he would laden him with titles and honors. But as soon as he comes to him in war, he will put him in chains and make him acknowledge Yaroglek as rightful sovereign, then cut his tongue out from his mouth so that he cannot take this back. Furthermore, he states that if every old claim was brought under question, then kingship would cease to exist and we would all live in a constant civil war. As with all claimants, Voldheim bides his time in other courts, hoping to find someone to champion his cause, but until then, Yarglek will continue to rule. This was the Lord of the Kingdom of the Vagars. Leave a comment on who you think should lead the Vagars, and make sure to like and subscribe.